I'm a little bit more bullish on DeSantis, bearish on Trump relative to consensus, in part because like it's just so a- lazy and easy to say, oh, Trump's going to win again, which he probably will, I guess. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, I find the fact that DeSantis with much lower name recognition against a guy who was actually president for four years, the fact that he's at like 25 or 30 percent, Trump's 50 percent in polls, to me, that's actually pretty good. To me, that's fairly impressive and means that there's a real dent in Trump's support. Well, the comparison that I've heard is to the 2008 election, which in this case, Trump is Hillary Clinton, mm. where sort of all the conventional wisdom I'm sure is listeners that, of all political persuasions will love that comparison. <laughs> which is that if she or he wants it, it's hers or his. But then you have this sort of challenger in Barack Obama or Ron DeSantis, um, who is slowly, slowly gaining in the polls, exciting certain parts of the party. And then by the time you get to Iowa, by the time you get to New Hampshire, they have enough sort of name recognition, energy behind them that yeah, it's a competitive he'll, I mean, race. He'll, he'll hire better staffers and be more organized, right, and scientific about how he conducts This is primary. assuming he runs. I guess I assume he runs. I assume he runs if he thinks he has a shot, right? I mean, it's it's... You know, party dominations, I mean, you see like the Hillary-Bernie race. Inevitably, there is demand among voters, among the media, among everyone for a contest, right? Mm -hmm. You don't win a nomination in a total cakewalk. 